I again call the member for Gippsland. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. I seek leave to rejoin the debate. Yes. Leave sought. Leave is granted. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. And I do take up the, uh, the points raised by the member, the previous speaker, in relation to the, uh, the opportunities to prevent the uh, frequency of stroke occurring in our community. In particular, the, um, the issues raised in relation to uh, uh, older people and others with certain medical problems, such as high blood pressure and diabetes. And there's no question, uh, Deputy Speaker, that lifestyle factors such as diet, alcohol consumption, smoking, how active you are in our daily lives, do affect your individual risk. In particular, I refer to the, the issue of smoking. And we, we uh, as, as someone who had a, a father who was a regular smoker and, um, and, and tragically suffered from uh, lung cancer later in his life uh, from, his, from his smoking uh, habit formed as a very young man, uh, it's something that I'm very committed to enforcing and in, in, in encouraging among young people in our community to uh, try to avoid taking up smoking in the first place. But I think as a, as a government, there is a lot more we can be doing. Uh, in terms of our uh, public health initiatives in relation to the issue of smoking. I think the, uh, the QUIT campaign, which has been very successful across Australia, is uh, an initiative which needs further support in the future. And I know there's a whole range of initiatives being considered in terms of uh, the capacity to restrict the amount of advertising, uh, restrict the uh, display of uh, cigarettes. And also I know in, uh, in many states now there are implications, sorry, uh, legislation uh, being put forward to prevent smoking when children are in cars. And I think these are all very good initiatives and positive initiatives that, uh, if we can avoid young people in particular taking up the habit of smoking early in life, I think that the benefits will flow through in terms of uh, restricting or preventing, uh, minimising, in fact, the, uh, the level of st strokes in our community. Healthy eating is, is also an initiative that, uh, also an issue that the uh, previous member referred to. And uh, again, it's, uh, it, there's opportunity for us as, as uh, elected members of parliament to lead by example and to also be supporting our own uh, food producers right across our nation, encouraging our young people in particular uh, to uh, enjoy five portions of, um, of fruit and vegetables each day. It certainly uh, does, does a lot for your health, not just, in not just only in terms of minimising the uh, incidence of stroke in our community, but in terms of your overall quality of life. Um, Deputy Speaker, the, I referred in my previous uh, contribution in relation to this uh, motion before the House to the need to encourage healthy lifestyles particularly amongst our young people. And it's something that I would like to expand on further, if time permits, is that we do have an opportunity in our nation to encourage young people in particular to be active members of their communities. And I think there's a real prospect for us to um, be doing a lot more in terms of reducing the economic barriers for a lot of our young people. And as I represent a regional constituency, a lot of our young people find, tr find trouble accessing uh, sporting opportunities. And there's a real opportunity for us to make sure that we're providing those opportunities in our regional communities Taking, taking into consideration the extra transport costs involved for a lot of, a lot of families in regional areas. And again, the early, early habits formed in life in terms of healthy lifestyle will have a, a measurable benefit in terms of reducing the incidence of stroke in our community. Uh, Deputy Speaker, I also referred to, previously to the Stroke Association of Victoria and the excellent work that they are doing in terms of supporting uh, people who have suffered from strokes and, of course, their families and caregivers. And it's something that uh, I think we all need to reflect on more as members of parliament in terms of the amount of contribution that's made to our community by carers. Uh, carers save our nation a king's ransom in terms of uh, the foregone uh, cost to the community if we had to provide that care from the public purse. And I think for a little bit further investment from, uh, from us as, at state and federal level uh, to support our carers, we'd actually be able to achieve a, a lot more in terms of supporting people with illnesses, but in this particular case we're referring to stroke. Uh, the support groups that exist in Victoria provide a wide, wide range of support to families and their survivors, helping them through what is a very traumatic time in their life. Uh, by its very nature, Deputy Speaker, these uh, strokes are unexpected. They occur suddenly, and it's a, it's a, a thunderstruck, a, a thunderstruck, or lightning strike, sorry, on, on the families involved, and uh, hits them in an instant. And from then on, their, their lives are different. And it's up to us, I think, as, as a government and members of parliament to make sure that we provide support for the survivors but also for the caregivers. And I think it's, uh, there, there are opportunities there for us as a community to make sure that the, uh, the caregivers and the work they, they are doing in the community is, is more widely recognised and appreciated. And it's with that in mind that I, I repeat my earlier remarks in terms of uh, encouraging state and federal governments to see what support they can give to a group like the Stroke Association of Victoria in terms of professional facilitation work. Because we find that 
the, uh, the uh, availability of a professional facilitator or coordinator then leverages off the amount of uh, actual work the volunteers can undertake on the, on the behalf of those who have suffered from a stroke. So again, I thank the member for Shortland for the motion before the House and commend her for her work in this regard.